Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. so much for the professional videotaping here. I think the battery in the remote has died. Uh, Michael Catlow here with Big Tom McCain. Producer. Big Tom Producer. <laughs> Um, this is totally unscripted. We did a video earlier today, which was unscripted as well. And Tom and I were just sitting here. We had some dinner, watched a quick little video, and having a quick little talk. So he exactly. didn't even know he was going to be on video today. Did not know it. Did not know it at all. But I we're going to sign a release. Either. There's no release Thank sign, you. but we're going to get approval okay. on here. Absolutely. So we are going to find out exactly. Um, well, maybe not exactly, but to the best of our ability. So Tom and I, uh, we've known each other for five years about six years five six years yeah. met through BNI for all the small business owners out there um, both were I was representing a, a wedding and event planning business and Tom was representing a uh, fence business at right. the time mm -hmm. and uh, over the past three years four years or so three three years we've had an opportunity to work together with a company called Legal Shield which I absolutely love but I wanted to find out um, so obviously this is unscripted sure um, what is it about Legal Shield that you love uh, the people Okay. Yeah. Really, the relationships, because in this in this industry, in in Legal Shield, you've got people who truly care about you and care about your success, and it's not like a corporate situation where um, if you learn too much, uh, you might take somebody's job, or if you teach someone too much, they'll take your job. In this industry, in this company, we want people to do well because we will also get some of the, their success also. So for somebody out there who may watch this like on Facebook mm -hmm. or whatever the case is, and maybe they've never heard of Legal Shield before, mm -hmm. whether it's the product or the company or whatever the case is, what is something you, Tom McCain, would want somebody to know about Legal Shield? Well, it gives people uh, access to attorneys, for one thing, and it, and it gives them uh, access to their rights. For myself, I was fired from a company, um, and when I was brought into a room and started asking, they were asking me a bunch of questions. Uh, after five minutes, I said, well, do I need to get an attorney? And they said, no, we're just having a conversation. And 45 minutes later, I was walked out the door. So for me, it's very real about uh, having people protect me. And when I realized I didn't have that protection, I'm, I'm thinking, well, you know what? Other people are going through similar things. They deserve the right to have their rights protected. Yeah. They deserve the right to have their rights protected. So. <laughs> Well, okay, so now you've been involved with the company for X, X amount of time, mm -hmm. um, and I know that we've had an opportunity to travel all around the country, mm -hmm. we've had a chance to have a good time, yeah. party, make yes. some money, help a lot yeah. of people, all that stuff. Um, why are, you mentioned a little bit about the people earlier, mm -hmm. but why are you a, maybe not why you got started, but mm -hmm. why have you continued to stay a legal shield rep? And if, if, it, if mm -hmm. we don't, if you get a little emotional or whatever, yeah. we don't have to show the video, whatever okay. the case is, but... Um, like why, why? Well, I, I just believe that after what my situation went through and after a couple other things where I, I, I didn't use an attorney, I made bad decisions because I was arrogant thinking I knew it all and, and it fell apart on me. So I, I'm still fighting some things from my past because I didn't get wise counsel. You know, you go through life and you get a certain age, you think you know it all and you don't think, well, I don't need anybody to really give me advice. And, and I didn't. And I thought I was, I was I wasn't as smart as I thought I was. Yeah. So for me to to tell people to say, you know what, it doesn't hurt to have smart people around you to help you. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, Oprah Winfrey, Donald Trump, they have people around them to help them make decisions so they don't have to worry about making the bad decisions. So to, to, to share that with people and let them know that, uh, you know, you, you, can, you need somebody to help you bounce things off them or just get the advice to help you make good decisions is paramount to them moving forward in life. Because yeah. it doesn't take but one or two wrong decisions to really back you up and hurt you financially, which can or also hurt you emotionally and spiritually too. So uh, just being able to to share a service with people that, that gives them access, that gives them a little bit of uh, peace of mind and relief, that type of thing. Okay, so for maybe somebody who's never been involved with the network marketing industry or multi-level marketing mm -hmm. industry or direct sales mm -hmm. or relationship marketing mm -hmm. or any of, yeah. the any of the titles that they may have, mm -hmm. um, you've had, I think, some very unique experiences mm -hmm. as far as how big has your team grown? It's about 160 people. So about 160 reps in your right, downline. Right. Um, do you know how many memberships your team's written mm -hmm. about? Almost 400, I believe. Almost 400. Yeah. So obviously, understanding that you have a team of 100, 100 let's say 100 plus or 150 plus, whether, well, exactly whatever that mm -hmm. number is, and you've written almost 400 memberships as a team, yeah. you've been able to help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So what, and let's look, look at the camera for this one, because I, I want people, okay. I want people to, to, to grasp this. And again, okay. this is unscripted, so I have no idea what's about to come out. Sure. <laughs> what, um, what does it feel like to be able to help people 
Um, Because this industry and this business, Mm -hmm. especially Legal Shield, um, is really designed to help people with the membership. And the only way we really make Mm -hmm. a whole heck of a lot of money is to help other people make money and so forth. So to see things go off in other people's Mm -hmm. eyes that are on your team and so forth, like what's that experience like for somebody who's never experienced it before? For for someone who's from the membership side of it, for someone to 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 have their rights being trampled on, for you to sit down and help them. And 20 minutes later, to see the relief wash over them, that's priceless. And I've seen that firsthand uh, with a neighbor. So I, I know that when someone has someone that's got their back, it, it just really just takes a lot of stress off of them. And to see people who come into an industry and, and learn from it and enjoy it and, and see all the people around them who are truly out there to help them, it, it's a lot of fun to see them that light go off like, you mean you're not going to take from me? You're going to help me and we're going to do it together and have fun? And I think that's the key thing is, is we, we do have a lot of fun. Um, we eat a lot too, so we do a lot of stuff around restaurants. But we have a lot of fun, and, and the people that I work with are truly some of my best friends. And even if now knowing them, even if the business were to go away tomorrow, they'd still be my best friends. And, and I think that's the most important part of it is when you can link up with people, you have a common goal, a common purpose, and you can move forward and help other people. And... If you make money at it, that's fantastic. Because last I checked, uh, when I write a check to the Cove Church or to Lakeside Fellowship or wherever I happen to be going to church that day, that money has to be there for that check. So it doesn't hurt to make the money. And the bigger, the more people I can help, the more money I can make, the bigger check I can write, the more people I can help. And and it's my desire to take a truckload of vehicles and drop it off in Cove Cove Church's parking lot and drop the keys on their desk and say, whoever needs a car, there's one out there for them. But you got to be able to have money. So uh, for me, the, the money side of it, helping people helps you get what you need. And if you'll read the Bible, it says if you help everybody get what they need, you're going to have everything that you need. And if you get paid for that, great, because you can take that money and help people. Mm-hmm. 24 hours is a very short period of time. It goes by just like that. And not only, if you're tied up in a job that you don't like for 12 hours a day, you're not being able to help people. Mm-hmm. But if you can take an industry where you can make the money and use that same 24-hour time period, if you can't help somebody, but the money you make, you can write the check for somebody, that's invaluable. And for me, I want to be able to not only give my time to various things because my bills are paid and I can go do those things, but also to be able to, to if I can't help somebody with my time, and I'm very limited in that, just like we all are, 24 hours, but if I can write that check and hand it to them and put some smiles and some faces or take care of some bills, that's where money is to be used. So when people say money is the root of all evil, for one thing, they're misquoting the Bible. The love of money is the root of all evil. We've seen what greed can do, but I've seen the great things people can do when they can go, hey, I can't give you my time, but here's X number of dollars. Go do what you got to do. And it's invaluable. When you pay somebody's bill, you light somebody's eyes up. When you buy somebody's cup of coffee behind you in line at McDonald's, you've made their day. And this could be just a little thing or it could be a big thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's so many ways to help people in this industry, help them grow as individuals. You get people who are shy, well, who now you can't get them to shut up. You get people who, who didn't think they could do things, who, who everybody had told them, you're not good enough. And you get around folks like that are in this industry and this company, and they tell you, you can do whatever you want to do, and we'll help show you how. Hmm. And we will, we will uh, we'll enjoy your success, and we'll help celebrate your success. That's one of the best things about it is, is seeing people have success and being able to enjoy it with them and to know that, that you're not only enjoying their success, but by them being successful, it helps you be successful, so it's a bigger celebration. You're celebrating their success, but you get to celebrate a little bit of yours because you've helped them. And just to, just to encourage people, man, it's just a great industry to, to see people, like I said, the light go on, the aha moments, and, and things happen, and they grow, and they develop, and they go from a shy scientist to a million-dollar earner or someone who just worked at a Target and thought they'd be there in retail all their life to make millions of dollars, or a guy uh, who has a different company but on a very part-time basis, it pays his bills so he can go take the other money he makes and do things like ship goods overseas or put a prom on for kids who are terminally ill. So I mean, there's just so many ways this industry helps people. And it really, it, it saddens me. I need to touch on this. It saddens me when people beat it up because they truly, truly don't know. They're trading their times for dollars. They're building someone else's dream. If you're working for somebody else, you're building somebody else's dream. What's and your, that's okay. But think about your own dreams too. So what is your dream? My dream is to be completely debt-free. 
for one thing, to, to erase the mistakes I made. That's, that's the bit, the, probably one of the biggest ones right now. Uh, another dream is to play golf as much as I want to because I love the game. But it, it's also a, another dream is to, is to, uh, to help animals. I love dogs. I absolutely love them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to meet Peanut, by the yes, way. Yes, you got to meet Peanut. And I worked, have worked with an organization called the Coalition to Unchain Dogs, which is located in Raleigh, uh, Durham, and Charlotte. Uh, they're on YouTube. And, uh, Raleigh, uh, no, excuse me, Durham, Charlotte, and Atlanta. They have chapters there. Go to YouTube, Coalition to Unchained Dogs, check it out, because they, they do some great things. Uh, but also to be able to, it would be cool to, to help kids, to teach them like the game of golf. Mm-hmm. Um, it would be cool to uh, to be able to go anywhere I wanted to, just a vacation. Yeah. So uh, to ride my motorcycle around all I want to. So la- last question to keep it short on time, and then we'll do another one later. Um, you talked earlier about seeing people's light bulbs go mm-hmm. off or kind of aha moments. Mm-hmm. Would you? What would you say is maybe the biggest aha or light bulb moment or something along those lines mm-hmm. that you've had within the network marketing industry, mm-hmm. but in particular with Legal Shield? Well, I'm going to have to relate it mainly to the industry because over a year and a half ago when I really started really getting heavy involved, heavily involved with phone calls and, and calling people back and calling people to, to share the industry with them, to share the, the Legal Shield product with them, uh, it taught me that um, to be a better person, to build a relationship with people first and become a friend first. And at first, when I was on the phone, if somebody said boo to me, I couldn't slam that phone down quick enough. Yeah. And now I get on the phone, and, and whether or not people have any interest in all in Legal Shield, I'm able to, be able to have a conversation with them to build a friendship to where six months later I call them up and we'll shoot the breeze about anything. Mm-hmm. And to me, relationships are the only thing you take out of this world. Mm-hmm. Um, the money, anything else you have is going to be here when you're gone. But that relationship and what you can do to help inspire people is fun. And to be able to to build relationships and fun with people that doesn't matter if you're doing business with them or whatever, but that you can call them up and just see how they're doing. And, and maybe at the time you call them, they're having a bad day, and you're the person that gives them a little bit of sunshine and, and inspires them that day. Uh, for me, the, that personal growth, that personal development over the last three years, but especially the last year and a half, I think has been big for me, mm-hmm. kind of a, a growing aha moment, but mm-hmm. something that I've enjoyed because once we work on ourselves and make ourselves better people and more effective human beings, then we can lift the whole world around us, no matter what we're doing. But it's gotta, that part's gotta be come from inside first. Right. Well, as we get ready to close this video out, for those of you that don't know me, um, take this with a grain of salt, for those that do. Um, I've had a chance to know Tom for, I guess that we say, going on six years mm-hmm. now. And absolutely, of the people that I've met in the world, um, one of the greatest guys out there, biggest hearts, just absolutely wants to see people have success and do the things they want to do in life. So it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to not only get a chance to work with Tom, who has been one of the top producers on the team in the past little bit, um, but also just a, a really great friend. So I think it's like 9.30 and we just got finished having dinner here at the house anyway. So it is about eating food, <laughs> eating food, having fun. Uh, 10 seconds, any okay. final words, any thoughts before we close out? Uh, don't let anybody steal your dreams. Surround yourself with people that encourage and love you and want to see you have everything you want in life. Let the detractors slowly take your time away from them because you need people who are going to promote you and help you. And once they do that, that's the true people. Whether it's friends or family, that's the people you need around you. Make sure to reach out to Tom. How can they reach out to you? 704-401-7255. That's 704-401-7255. I'm also on Facebook, Tom McCain. And um, stop underscore ID underscore theft at peoplepc.com. Have a good evening. Michael Callow here interviewing really cool people. Tom McCain says bye.